Mina, Kon Banwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. I'm actually going back into Exodus for tonight's little words of encouragement because as I was writing the Bible, as I've told you all I do in a few messages in times past, I went over this one verse, and there's some strange little verses all the way back in Exodus chapter 4. Let me go ahead and read them, starting in verse 24. And it came to pass on the way at the encampment that the Lord met him, talking about Moses, and sought to kill him. Then Zipporah, that's Moses' wife, took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son and cast it at Moses' feet and said, Surely you are a husband of blood to me. So he let him go. Then she said, You are a husband of blood because of the circumcision. Now these verses sound weird and bizarre and freaky on so many levels and some explanation is required. And I'm actually not going to provide the explanation you're probably looking for. Why was God trying to kill Moses? Why was circumcision was a, such a big deal? Why did Z, why did Zippor throwing the foreskin at Moses' feet make the Lord be like, okay, I'm going to stop now. Why did all that happen? I'm actually going to focus on how awesome you ladies are. Again, so many people think that Christians look down on women well, and I'm sure some do. I'm sure some people of all religious stripe and color and creed do. And I'm sure several non, not just non-religious people, period, also look down on women. You know, it's kind of like a few, few bad apples ruin the bunch, so to speak. But anyway, it blows my mind how, like God gave Eve to Adam so that Adam would have a helper, a helper comparable to himself. And women have done some amazing things throughout history. This being one big example, like Moses, the deliverer of Israel, the author of the Mosaic Law, would not have even started his ministry. He had just gotten off the mountain of God, Mount Sinai, had just received the call to go save Israel. Then on the way to Israel, God almost kills him for a, a very bad level of disobedience. You're supposed to circumcise your children when you're following the Lord. He didn't do so. Again, that doesn't that kind of explains the situation, but not totally. But again, I'm not focusing on that. Because of his wife and her quick thinking and quick wittedness and recognizing the problem, she took care of the problem. And Moses went on to do all the amazing things we read about in Scripture. But he wouldn't have even survived to get there if his wife hadn't stepped in. So you ladies are awesome. So many ministries, I wonder how many ministries would have never started or have failed midway if it weren't for the woman backing up the man. It just, it's mind-blowing to me. And this was a, a big, like, kind of eye-opener for me when I saw it from that perspective. You ladies are awesome. And we guys... Honestly, we owe you quite a bit. Y'all some smart, intelligent, wise, as well as hot people. And we thank you so much for what the Lord has done in our lives through you. Now, I am not, I am not currently engaged or married or even dating. One day, I think I will be. One day, I think that will happen. Right now, I'm happily single. But when that day comes, I'm going to gain such such a helper, such a boost to my life, to my ministry, to who I am as a person. Because when God made woman, he really did give man a helper comparable to himself. Definitely not an inferior or lower type of human being at all. We guys wouldn't be able to make it without y'all. So a thank you from me to all the women out there who support their men, and even to those of you who don't um, aren't necessarily married or dating, but just living your lives for God, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being who you are, for being who God's called you to be. You all are awesome. And thank you guys and gals very much for watching this video. I love you guys, and God bless.